as a quick bonus, he wanted to create something like a t-shirt design, which that was coming very close to. You can use the regular pen tools to map out your shape, whatever that might be. Close line, deleting that one. However, it might be good to start with basic shape, just like before, and that secondary shape to be carved out from here, picking a different color for it. Since this is already on top, you don't have to do anything special. Just move it to where you like it. Selecting both objects by shift clicking to select the next one and going under path, difference, and that carves this part out. To get the arms for this, pick this tool right here for edit paths, and then click on the plus sign here to allow you to insert a new node, a new vertex right here. So double click, 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 and one on the other side, click, click. That inserts these new nodes. You need more than these two. So I'm just dragging this one down a little lower. Same with this one. Going to insert another one here and one right above there. Selecting here and here and just drag those out. Same with the other side. Drag those out. Selecting this one and pressing the delete key because it wasn't needed. If you want to adjust the tangents, you can use these tools right up here to play with tangents, but right now I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm going to export this as an SVG. If you before I do that, let me just straighten this up a little bit. There we go. File, save as, and calling it t-shirt. Plain SVG selected, click on save, jump into Maya. Click on SVG, click on import, locate the SVG that was just saved. Under, under the geometry node, make it smoother. And there's the start of a t-shirt. Well, how do you get it more into a t-shirt? Think of your other skills, selecting on the face level, selecting this face and just extruding and scaling it down. Same thing with the backside, extrude out, scale down a little bit. Going to open up the bottom of this, selecting this face and I can use the move tool so I don't accidentally scale and pressing the delete key. That opens up this side. Before I open up where the arms go through, maybe using the multi-cut tool to add a little more structure to this. So multi-cut tool. And if your multi-cut tool won't cut right through, hold down the shift key and just drag straight down like that. Shift key dragging straight down and cross shift cross. And that does a cut going right through it. Now it's at an angle. Why is it at an angle? Because I didn't do this from a side viewport. Press the space bar. Pick a side viewport or front viewport. And now that the object is aligned flat onto the planes, hold down the shift and drag. And again, this is multi-cut tool. And that makes a slice going right throughout your model. Now you can jump back to the perspective viewport, picking up the move tool, clicking in this viewport spacebar. Go open up the sleeve opening right there. So shift, so click on the face and delete. Same thing with the other side. Click on the face, delete, delete. There's another one here. Reason why I did a cross section over here, because when you press the three key, things will collapse to so smoothness. And without this here, this structure at the bottom would just collapse too small. Try it out yourself and see what happens. It's always good to experiment, play with your tools so you better understand what, what's going on. So to open up the inside, just going to select these faces going across and clicking on each one and deleting them. You can do a marquee selection to select more than one. 
but you might accidentally select one that you didn't want. So spend a few seconds and just do it the sure way of getting things done. And the rest would be reshaping the vertices, such as the openings here. Going to the vertex right there, selecting those vertices right here. I'm going to use the scale tool. I'll scale it along this x-axis, straighten it out like this. Do the same thing for the other side. Marquee selection, select all those vertices, making sure you don't accidentally select one somewhere else. And you select these two vertices right there and right there. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Shift clicking, shift clicking on that one as well. So those four vertices, just pull them down. And then you can continue to reshape the sleeve opening. To get this to look a little more rounder, you know, you can fit it onto your character. This might be a good place to select the object because the object is really like this. There's the object right now. I'm going to apply Mesh Smooth to it. Mesh Smooth. It doesn't do a great job, but that's okay. We'll fix it in a moment. Then Edit Delete by Type History. With the object selected, go to Mesh, Read Topolize, and open up the little Properties box right here. So you can select how it's going to replan these faces. I want to target a face count. Let's say a thousand faces because it's such a small object. Hit apply and wait a moment. Much better. This is an object that we could work with. To get a little more roundness, you would put it onto a character or place it onto a clothing rack, whatever you want, because it should be in context. To select this section here. And I use the marquee selection and I accidentally selected these, so it's going to be deselect these. You use a lasso tool as well. I'm just showing you how would you start to shape it onto a character. Press the B key, soft selection, pick up the move tool. You can just start to pull it out. Now, if you're getting it pulled out with a little more edge than you want, undo. Good for a mechanical panel, but maybe not good for cloth. Just increase your soft selection. And just slowly pull it out to reshape it. 